Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Today we are going to show you how to bleed the power steering pump on any vehicle pretty much. So if you've done any repairs guys on the power steering, if you installed new power steering pump or you replaced the hose, most likely you got air in the system. So in order to bleed the powering steering right, you have to do it right or otherwise you're risking uh, buying a new pump because the, the old one might fail. And what you need to do you need to jack the car in the air as you can see you need to have two jack stands never just rely on the jack itself and you need to have the front end and the tires all the way in the air ok so what you need to do after you have done the repair you need to get power steering that is good for your vehicle it needs to be approved by your vehicle and make ok like this one it says General Motors Ford Chrysler Asian cars are different, European formula is different as well. So now you need to fill it up all the way to where it says maximum, usually on cold, maximum cold, do not overfill it. Okay, and just make sure that you have enough fluid. And what you need to do after that, you need to leave it open. And do not start the car. If you start the car, it's going to form the, the power steering fluid and it will not work out. So now you need to go inside the vehicle and you need to turn the steering wheel all the way from left to right and when it stops you go again and when you do that you can see the air coming out and bleeding the system out okay let me show you it's going to come more air out of here you can actually hear it and you need to do that for about 10 to 20 times at least all the way left to right and right to left and the more you do it the more air you're going to get out of it and you need to stop when you stop noticing air coming inside the power steering reservoir okay and ours is about halfway halfway empty now okay so we need to add a little bit more to make sure you're all the way on the full mark usually some of them have cold and hot so you need to be careful not to overfill it because if you put too much it will leak out of the power steering reservoir and now you need to install the lid on it now, and now we are going to go ahead and start the vehicle and turn again to see if it's going to make the noise like it has it has air in the power steering okay and as you can see it doesn't make the noise so you need to go a few more times while the vehicle is all the way in the air and now you need to turn it off and you need to go ahead and check the level again because you might have an air pocket still somewhere okay and it's it took a little bit so we're going to add a little bit and you did that about two three times and you should be ready to go so that's the whole procedure guys, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and give us a like, we have a new video on our channel every day.